Today we're taking a look at Wizard Van, the role-playing game where rock never dies. Hell yeah! Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an upload, and join the conversation over at the Agronac Cult Discord. Wizard Van from James N. Spawn. This game is brought to you by Gallant Knight Games and also Barrel Rider Games. Are you ready to rock? Look at the van with the wizard on the side of it. I know, it's just friggin' amazing. This is totally within the shit that I want to be doing. This is a 22 page book, really, um, 20 pages worth of an interior, which includes a character sheet. And then you have the front cover and the back cover. Across the cosmos, they call. It's rock and roll adventure. Will you ride the wizard van? Band and gods awaits your axe. This is a rules light TTRPG that uses a D20. I already love it. The dimensions are five inches wide by eight inches tall. They just finished a Kickstarter and this will actually be available next week after this video is released. And even though this PDF was given to me, I'm planning on buying not only the PDF, but the print book. The Kickstarter went for, including the print, $10 with the PDF. You can't beat that. Not with an ugly stick. No, sir. <laughs> Here's the table of contents. And then right here is, is the introduction. Now this is more of like a zine, uh, where it is very small and compressed, but it is a game in and of itself. Again, rules light and awesome. So is it only a D20? Yeah, from my read through, it seems like it's only a D20. Really, it's kind of like worked out like Mjurkborg. Where it's like you need a 12 or more in order to succeed. Um, but like things that are easy, you could uh, roll like a, a four or more and succeed. All right, very good. You could run this as a one shot. It was suggested that the game was written around the idea of one game master and one player. But you can play with multiple people if you want. All right, cool, cool. So this part right here on page five has kind of this introduction, which really gets you into the mood of the game and really is a start for a one-shot. Instead of reading everything in this book, I'm gonna read just this first thing so that you really know what this is about. All right, let's do it. Are you ready to rock? That concert rocks so hard. You stepped out when the band took a break for a drink or smoke, the hard licks and heavy riffs of the set still ringing in your ear. The screaming metal guitar conjured epic images in your mind. The relentless pounding of the drums was like a march to war against the gods you'd only ever seen on the other side of a dream. And the lyrics tore right into your soul and painted a world so awesome you can hardly believe you were among the lucky few to score tickets to the show. That's when you saw him. Wild beard and a tattered jacket covered in patches. He gave you the kind of smile that real fans share and recognize. And that van. That van. The sight of it was airbrushed with a wizard so insane and awesome that you swore it was going to leap off out from behind the finish and come to life right then and there. Sitting in the driver's seat, he grinned at you. Got a light? Ha 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 ha, yeah! One fan to another. You had his back. Reaching into your pocket, you flicked your tiny plastic tube to life. And before the two of you knew it, you were talking about the band. Their music, their history, their raw power. Time seemed to stop as you sat inside the back of that wizard van trading your favorite stories of the band. This gives me brutal legend vibes, man. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, the denim-clad driver shot you a wink and said, Probably time to get back to the show. The real show. You stepped out of the wizard van and saw a magic-blasted, psychedelic landscape of neon forests, incandescent peaks, 
and strange winged serpents crossing a sky thrice lit by a triple moon covered in chrome. At your feet was your axe. Without knowing why, you picked it up, and when you looked back, the wizard van was gone. The only thing that remained was the familiar music of the band echoing in your ears. You heard his voice in a fading echo in your mind. Enjoy the show, kid. <laughs> oh my god, this game! Yeah, I'm totally in it, man. This is friggin' awesome. What is Wizard Van? Wizard Van is a rules light role playing game inspired by Sword and Backpack, where you take on the role of a rock and roll acolyte who went to your band's favorite concert, stepped into a van airbrushed with an awesome wizard doing awesome things, and when you stepped out again, you were in an amazing world of techno fantasy dragons, lasers, swords robots, and psychedelic strangeness, the likes of which you'd only seen in the coolest album covers to ever grace your collection. Damn, dude. Yeah, just spliced together Brutal Legend and Heavy Metal the Movie, and here you are in the wonderful world of Wizard Van. Hell yeah. So now you've only got one job, find your way back to the concert. Or not. Let's just go over a little bit of this. I'm going to show you character sheet here. Let me back out of it. This is the character sheet. You need to pick what band. You're going to choose one band like Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, Dio, Led Zeppelin. You name it. What you're into. Either wizardry or metal. If you're into wizardry then you will be able to cast spells based upon the lyrics of your favorite band, your chosen band's, uh, well, their songs. Oh my gosh, awesome! And then you can draw a picture of your axe right here. Friggin' cool! So you've got a hero, so you figure out if your hero is into either magic or metal. Now that you're armed for battle against the Chromo Dragons, Void Goblins, Zombie Trons, all the other forces of evil that wander where rock never dies, that is the land that you're in, it's time to give them a little sizzle. So pick whether you have magic or not. So here it is. If magic is what you're into, then you can cast epic incantations beyond the ken of mere mortals. Anytime you want to use magic to do something badass, you have to cite a verse from one of the bands, that's the band that you picked, their songs that fits the sorcery you're spinning. If the front man, which is the game master, agrees that would be epic enough to be in a music video for the band, then the spell goes off. Otherwise, the magic burns out and fades away. Ha 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 it's so cool, dude. So this is how you roll. You roll a 20-sided die, aka a d20, if you roll a 12 or higher, congrats, you didn't screw it up. If you can recite a lyric from the band that's appropriate to the situation at hand, you only need to roll an 8. If you can recite a lyric and that song is playing while you're trying to do the awesome thing, then you only need to roll a 4. Ah, oh, nice. So you're listening to this band soundtrack in the background. Absolutely. So maybe if you've picked Iron Maiden and you're listening to the song Run to the Hills and you recite the lyrics, maybe the foe that you're fighting will flee away on a roll of a four or more. Hell yeah, freaking awesome. If you don't make it, then the front man or game master will describe how you screwed it up. Cool. If a 20 comes up on the die when you're doing something epic, you're now cutting heads. Your amazing epic critical hit. Not only is there things uh, that are in the real world while you're playing, like listening to the band that you have chosen, but if you're wearing merch from that band, it gives you a boon as well. Once per session, your armor or merchandise 
gives you the divine grace of rock, and you can re-roll a d20 anytime during the game. Yeah, but if your re-roll is worse than the first roll, then you're stuck with it. Yep, as usual. <laughs> if you own a piece of material actually signed by the band and it's in your possession, then you get another boon. Yeah, then you automatically, once per session, succeed on one d20 roll. Yeah, I love this game. So this section here is about the front man, which is our illustrious game master. And that is the person that is creating the world of where rock never dies. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is the strange psychedelic techno fantasy land where the hero now wanders in search of answers and adventure. So this is how it works. The player or the hero picks about four or more album covers that they want to inform the world with. Yeah, and then you take those album covers as the front man and you paint a landscape. That's why it just, man, Iron Maiden would be perfect for this. Yeah, seventh son of a seventh son, somewhere in time, number of the beast, and live after death. Using those covers to inform your world would make for an epic adventure. Yes, it would. <laughs> Some more amazing art. So you'll notice in this book that there's no charts, no like uh, roll tables or anything like that. It is something that I would love to see in a second edition or an expanded edition. Oh my gosh, this is freaking awesome. So it talks about like when you're in battle or making rolls and you roll three fails in a row, then you're at risk of your axe being broken and for good. Yeah, if you get to that third botched roll in a row, then you have one last chance before you lose the power of your axe. And you say, by the power of rock. Of course, you got to throw up the horns. And you give it one last try. If you fail, your axe breaks and you lose all the benefits of your band. Yeah, you can't recite lyrics from them. You can't use their merch as a boon or anything. So now you gotta go on another quest to find another axe that represents a different band. And while you're looking for that axe, you need to roll a 12 or more on every single die roll, looking for that axe in order to gain the benefits again. It's kind of brutal, so hopefully you don't roll three botched rolls or failures in a row. The rules are really like 15 pages, great for a one-shot, and again, I would love to see this expanded into a full-fledged 150-page rule book with all sorts of charts and graphs and everything else, but right now, this is perfect for what it is. Yeah, James really knocked it out of the park for this one. You should go and pick up Wizard Van. There's not a link yet, but there's a link to the website down in the dungeon. And next week, this game will be available. All right, thank you all for stopping by Agronax Studios today, and we'll see you on the next one. Later. This video was brought to you by the generous support of our patrons. Consider becoming a patron so you can help us make more content like this. Or get yourself a t-shirt below. Later. All right, do this and do that and do this and do that. And watch this video.